Hey, this is Angie Brown from Exam Pro, and we are looking at two logging services here. We have CloudTrail and CloudWatch. Starting with CloudTrail, it logs all API calls, uh, generally via the SDK or AWS CLI between AWS services. So this is a really good service to determine who we should blame for something. So if you wanted to say who created this bucket, who spun up that expensive EC2 instance, who launched the SageMaker notebook, that's where CloudTrail is going to come into play. Uh, and so uh, some of the other use cases here is that we can use it to detect uh, developer misconfiguration, which we just talked about, uh, but we could also use it to detect malicious actors. So if someone got into our account, uh, CloudTrail is going to uh, maybe give us um, an idea um, what is going on. And then we could also automate responses. So maybe every time someone created a bucket, you wanted to um, uh, trigger something. Um, and so that uh, is something that we could do maybe with uh, CloudWatch events uh, using CloudTrail, okay. Uh, so now onto CloudWatch. So CloudWatch is a collection of multiple services, but generally when people say CloudWatch, we're talking about CloudWatch logs and all the other CloudWatch services are really based off of logs, okay. So CloudWatch logs is just a, a durable uh, uh, storage solution uh, for your uh, logs. And so logs could be performance data about your AWS services, such as CPU utilization, memory, or network in. Um, you could also store your application logs here. So if you are running Ruby on Rails, you could send the logs there or Nginx, uh, uh, just as that as well. Or let's say you're using Lambda. Lambda, you would uh, you can put within your functions a lot of console log calls. And so that would uh, then uh, uh, pass that on to uh, CloudWatch. And that is just in itself application logs for Lambdas. Okay, and so uh, moving on to the other CloudWatch uh, services, we have metrics and they represent a time ordered set of data points. And so you want to think of CloudWatch metrics as a variable to monitor. And if that's so confusing, just think of it as like taking uh, data from CloudWatch logs and turning it into a graph. Okay, then you have a uh, CloudWatch events and this allows you to trigger an event um, uh, based on a condition. So when, uh, when you have uh, log data, uh, or uh, you can uh, trigger it based off of a metric um, or or other other kind of rules. But like the most common thing you might use CloudWatch events for is let's say uh, every hour you want to take a snapshot of your um, Elastic Block store, the, like the volume that um, is attached to your server. You can do that with CloudWatch events. Then you have CloudWatch alarms and these trigger notifications based on a metric. And so um, you would specify a threshold and when that threshold is breached, that alarm gets triggered and then it would send you uh, an email or a text message, however you specify, okay? Uh, then you have CloudWatch dashboards and this just creates visualizations based off a of metric. So when I said earlier that metrics, um, you could think of them as um, graphs, that's exactly what they are. And so uh, you could take those uh, graphs and then put them onto a dashboard so you could represent a lot of data at a glance. So there you go. Those are the two uh, logging services in AWS.